Okay. All right, so a lot has happened since the last update. Uh, the last time I had this light sensor working and its sensitivity was being controlled by the knob. Well, the rest of the circuit has been entirely fleshed out. Um, it's, the shift registers are still controlling the LED strip and there's still a potentiometer, but there's a few new things as well. There's a photo sensor section, an external power section, and an accelerometer, and a breath sensor. First, the breath sensor. If you notice the LED strip, I'm going to basically uh, change the pressure inside of this Gatorade bottle by, uh, by sucking and blowing on it, basically. Check it out. And now, I'm going to keep um, doing the same pressure here, but I'm going to turn the potentiometer so you can see how it affects sensitivity. So, in essence, it's an adjustable breath sensor. The next section is the photocell section. These uh, send data uh, to the Arduino, and these right here are a visual cue so you can get some general idea as to what your light levels are. Right now my hand is casting a shadow on the photocells, uh, which is basically serving as visual feedback, much like the meter is serving as feedback for the, uh, for the breath. Now, I finally have gotten Arduino talking with Max MSP, and this is going to be the main software as a performance medium. Okay, first things first. Uh, the first one is photocell. So, Whenever it's completely dark, it goes up, it goes down. This is going to be really useful. I've also built a model of what it's going to look like. Get a good shot of that. Let me explain where everything's going to go. Breath sensor is going to be inside the tube, closed pressure system. You're going to be able to read the LEDs here, and so the player will be able to see what they're doing, and it'll be pretty visual. The audience might even be able to see it too. And then at the tip, we're going to put this photo cell we're going to put these lights around the tip so that way the player can see not only how bright the room is at a glance, but which direction the light is coming from. And he can, uh, he can use that to adjust himself accordingly, or play off it, or do whatever he wants to do with it. Alright, now back to uh, MS Max MSP. Check out these three graphs. I'm going to tilt the accelerometer one way. See, there's adjustment to the values that are going in. All right, let's get it back flat again. Tilt it to another side. Okay, you get the idea. Now let's shake it. Now I'm shaking it only on two axes. He's going crazy. That guy's staying the same. So, basically, this is going to go on the tip of the, uh, the device here. Get another shot. Accelerometer. I'd be able to know how active the player's be being, and I also know which direction the device is facing. I can use that to change the expression. Okay, and finally, a little audio demo of how the breath is working. Alright, now my beautiful Gatorade bottle performance. Alright, obviously it leads a little bit of work, but the data is going in, it's sensing the breath, and you can use that to control various parameters of music. Uh, so, that's pretty much the long and short of it. That's it.